the great I am, I am. I declare the end from the start. I have given you a new heart. And I have said, be as I am, I am. I am coming for my bride, pure and blameless, with nothing to hide. I have sealed her with the blood from my side, I am. There will be nothing to find, no one that lies behind evil smiles, no perversion, no wicked wiles, I am. Oh, you may say you have eyes to see, but I will ask, did you know me? Did you set sins captives free? I am. And did you walk in the narrow way? Or did you just idly play to fulfill your lust both night and day? I am. Oh, you may say you have eyes to see, but I will ask, did you know me? Since captives free I am And did you walk in the narrow way Or did you just idly play To fulfill your lust both night and day
I am the Aleph Tav. I am the beginning and the end. I am the first and the last. I am the Alpha and the Omega. I am the Aleph Tav. Blessed are those whose way is blameless, who walk in the law of the Lord. Blessed are those who keep his testimonies, who seek him with their whole heart, who also do no wrong but walk in his ways. You have commanded your precepts to be kept diligently. Oh, that my ways may be steadfast in keeping your statutes. Then I shall not be put to shame, having my eyes fixed on all your commandments. I will praise you with an upright heart. I will praise you with an upright heart when I learn your righteous rules. I will keep your statutes. Do not utterly forsake me. Blessed are those whose way is blameless, who walk in the law of the Lord. Blessed are those who keep his testimonies, who seek him with their whole heart, who also do no wrong but walk in his ways. You have commanded your precepts to be kept diligently. I will praise you with an upright heart. young man cleanse his way by taking heed according to your word, O God. With my whole heart I have sought you. O let me not wander from your commandments. Your word I have hidden in my heart that I might not sin against you. Blessed are you, O Lord. Teach me your statutes. With my lips I have declared all the judgments of your mouth. I have rejoiced in the way of your testimonies as much as in all riches. I will meditate on your precepts and contemplate your ways. I will delight myself in your statutes. I will not forget your word. a young man cleanse his way by taking heed according to your word with my whole heart I have sought you oh let me not wander from your commandments your word I have hidden in my heart that I might not sin against you blessed are you O Lord teach me your statutes with my lips I have declared all the judgments of your mouth I rejoice in the way of your testimonies as much as in all riches. I will meditate on your precepts and contemplate your ways. I will delight myself in your statutes. I will not forget your word. I am the Alpha and the Omega. I am the Aleph Tav. I am the first and the last. I am the word that was made flesh. In me is the sum of all truth. Walk in my ways and you will be whole. How can a young man keep his ways pure? By walking in your ways, O oh Lord. Teach me to walk in your ways. O 
O Lord, deal bountifully with your servant, that I may live and keep your word. Open my eyes that I may behold wondrous things out of your law. I am a sojourner, a pilgrim on this earth. Please do not hide your commandments from me. My soul is consumed with longing for your ways at all times. I long to walk the path that you have ordained for me. I long to be that perfect one that you told us we must be. Even as your Father in heaven is perfect. Lord, Yeshua, my God, make me to know your ways and move me to walk in them. My soul is consumed with longing for your rules at all times. You rebuke the insolent accursed ones who wander from your commandments. You rebuke the Jezebels of the earth who call evil good and good evil, who slaughter your people, destroy their minds with evil thoughts. Yeshua, you are the sum of all truth. Your way is the way of all truth. Your way is the way of justice and righteousness. Away from me scorn and contempt. The scorn and contempt of this world who lives by the rules and dictates of Jezebel. Release your spirit of truth and justice. Take away from me scorn and contempt, for I have kept your testimonies. Even though princes said plotting against me, your servant will meditate you and your ways. Your testimonies are my delight. They are my counselors. Your testimonies are my joy. They are my teachers. Your testimonies light to the darkness of my path. Deal bountifully with your servant that I may live, that I may live, that I may live and keep your word. Open my eyes that I may behold wondrous things in your law, the law that your people have despised. My soul clings to 
the dust. The dust of which you made me. My soul clings to the earth, to the flesh, to the carnal. My soul clings to the lusts of the flesh. My soul clings to the dust. But, O oh God, give me life according to your word. Life according to your word. When I told you of my ways, you answered me. You told me. You said that your thoughts are not my thoughts. You said that your ways are not my ways. You said that as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are your ways higher than my ways, and that your thoughts were higher than my thoughts. Lord, when I told you my thoughts, you answered me. And you told me that my ways are not your ways. Oh God, I want your highways. Your high and exalted ways. Teach me your statutes. Teach me your ways. Make me understand the way of your precepts. The way of your precepts is the way of life. The way of your rules is the way of life. The way of your commandments is the way of life. The way of life is the narrow way that you told us about. Many are they who walk the broad way. Oh God, when I told you of my ways, you answered me. And you said that my ways were the broad ways and that your ways were higher than my ways. Your ways, your way is the narrow way. So I will meditate upon your wondrous works. I will meditate upon the deeds of old. I will meditate upon the deeds of your heroes upon the deeds of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, upon the deeds of Moses and Joshua, upon the deeds of Samuel and David, upon the deeds of Hezekiah and Josiah, upon the deeds of Ezra and Nehemiah, upon the deeds of Elijah and Elisha, upon the deeds of your son, Jesus, upon the deeds Jesus' disciples, John and James, Paul and Peter. O oh God, I will meditate upon your wondrous works. My soul melts away for sorrow, for sorrow that my soul clings to the dust. Strengthen me according to your word, O oh God. Strengthen me according to your word. Put false ways far from me and graciously teach me your law, your law that men have rejected. I have chosen the way of faithfulness. I set your rules before me. I cling to your testimonies, O Lord. Let me not be put to shame. I will run in the way of your commandments when you enlarge my heart. Teach me, O Lord, the way of your statutes. You have shown me that my way is not your way. You have shown me that your ways are higher than my ways.
Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. Let him return to the Lord that he may have compassion on him. And to our God, for our God will abundantly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, declares the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. Teach me, O Lord, the way of your statutes, and I will keep it to the end. Give me understanding of your way, that I may keep your law and observe it with my whole heart. Lead me in the path of your commandments, for I delight in it. Lord, you have said that the whole law is summed up in this. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. And Lord, we have perverted that command. We have perverted it and taken it into sexual immorality. But Lord, you have shown us the right way. You have shown us in your law. And you have told us to observe it with your whole heart. Lead me in the path of your commandments, for I delight in it. Incline my heart to your testimonies, and not to selfish gain. For your ways, your commandments are better than gold, are better than silver, are better than rubies and diamonds. Incline my heart to your testimonies and not to selfish gain. Turn my eyes from looking at worthless things and give me life in your ways. For your ways are higher than my ways. Your ways are better than my ways. My way is the way of death and yours is the way to life everlasting. Turn my eyes from looking at worthless things. Give me life in your ways. Confirm to your servant your promise that you may be feared. Turn away the reproach that I dread, for your rules are good. Behold, I long for your precepts. In your righteousness, give me life. Lord, release your truth and your righteousness into the earth. Teach me, O Lord, the way of your statutes, and I will keep it to the end. Behold, I long for your precepts. In your righteousness, give me life. Life. I desire your life. suddenly come to his temple and the messenger of the covenant in whom you delight behold he is coming says the Lord of hosts but who can endure the day of his coming and who can stand when he appears for he is like a refiner's fire and like fuller's soap he will sit as a refiner and purifier of silver and he will purify the sons of Levi and refine them like gold and silver and they will bring offerings and righteousness to the Lord then the offering of Judah and Jerusalem will be pleasing to the Lord as in the days of old as in former years. Then I will draw near to you for judgment. I will be a swift witness against the sorcerers, against the adulterers, against those who swear falsely, against those who oppress the hired worker and his wages, the widow and the fatherless, against those who thrust aside the sojourner and do not fear me, says the Lord of hosts. O oh God, 
Let your mercy come to me. Your mercy, your grace, your unmerited favor, your steadfast love, Lord, let them come to me. Let your salvation come to me according to your word. For by grace I have been saved, by faith and not by my works, lest I boast in them. And Lord, you have even granted the faith that I might believe that you are the one who died for my sins, that you are this Lord that is coming to his temple again, and I am that temple. Lord, then I will have an answer for those who taught me, for I trust in your word. And take not the word of truth utterly out of my mouth, for my hope is in your rules. I will keep your law continually forever and ever, and I shall walk in liberty, in the royal law, the law of liberty, which is a wide place, even though you have called us to walk in your narrow way. For broad is the way to destruction, yet your liberty, although liberty, is still a narrow way. For it is constrained by your rules and your laws, your commandments. Lord, let me not forsake them. I will keep your law continually forever and ever, and I shall walk in liberty, for I have sought your precepts. I will also speak of your testimonies before kings. I shall not be put to shame. For I find my delight in your commandments, which I love. I will lift up my hands toward your commandments, which I love. And I will meditate on your statutes, which I love. Yes, I will praise you. I will lift up my hands toward you and praise you for your commandments, for your righteous rules that guide my life. Let your mercy come to me, O Lord. Let your salvation come according to your promise. Remember the word unto your servant upon which you have caused me to hope. This is my comfort and my affliction, for your word has quickened me. The proud have had me greatly in derision, yet I have not declined from your law. I remembered your judgments of old, O oh Lord, and they have comforted me. Horror has taken hold upon me because of the wicked that forsake your law. Horror has taken hold upon me because of the wicked that forsake your law. Your statutes have been my songs in the house of my pilgrimage. O oh God, I have remembered your name in the night, and I have kept your law. This I had because I kept your precepts. O oh my God, be with us.
You are my portion, O oh God. I've said that I would guard your words. I have said that I would guard your words in my heart. And I have guarded your words, O oh Lord. You are my portion. I am a pilgrim here on earth. I am a sojourner in the land of my fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. I entreated your favor with my whole heart. Be merciful unto me according to your word. I thought on my ways and I knew that my ways were not your ways. And your ways were not my ways. For your ways are higher than my ways. You see what I do not see. You understand what I do not understand. But you have told me the way, O oh Lord. I thought on my ways. But then I turned my feet unto your testimonies, unto your ways, for your ways are higher than my ways. I made haste when I understood this, and I delayed not to guard your commandments. For your words are sweeter than wine. Your words are of greater value than gold and silver. And I determined that I would give everything for your word. The bands of the wicked have robbed me. The bands of the wicked have stolen from me. The bands of the wicked have hurt me. But I have not forgotten your law. Even though they tried to take the word of your law out of my mouth and tried to change my way and tell me that my way was evil, when they tried to call evil good and good evil, I turned to your testimonies and determined to walk in your ways. Even at midnight, when I arise in the night, I give thanks to you for your righteous judgments. I give thanks to you that you have shown me your way. I am a companion of all that fear you. I am a companion of all that guard your precepts and that walk in your way. The earth, O oh Lord, is full of your mercy. Teach me your statutes. You have dealt well with your servant. O oh Lord, according to your word, teach me good judgment and knowledge. For I have believed in your commandments. But before I was afflicted, I went astray. Lord, I have not forgotten the exhortation that addresses me as a son. You have said, My son, do not regard lightly the discipline of the Lord, nor be weary when reproved by him. For the Lord disciplines the one he loves and chastises every son whom he receives. And you have said that it is for discipline that I have to endure because you are treating me as a son. And what son is there whom a father does not discipline? Before I was afflicted, I went astray, but now I keep your word. 
you afflicted my soul, for that was what my soul needed. You are good and do good. Teach me your statutes. The insolent smear me with lies, but with my whole heart I keep your precepts. Their heart is unfeeling like fat, but I delight in your law. It is good for me that I was afflicted, so that I might learn your statutes. Father, I have not forgotten the exhortation that addresses me as a son. My son, do not regard lightly the discipline of the Lord, nor be weary and reproved by him. For the Lord disciplines the one he loves and chastises every son whom he receives. Father, you have chastised me. You have disciplined me. Sometimes I feel that my soul has lying in the dust. It is good for me that I was afflicted, that I might learn your statutes. For the law of your mouth is better to me than thousands of pieces of gold and silver. You have dealt so well with your servant. Your ways are not my ways. Your ways are higher than my ways. And I understand that you had to afflict me. Or I would go astray. But now I keep your word. You are good and you do good. Lord, teach me your statutes. It is good for me that I was afflicted so that I might learn your statutes. The law of your mouth, O oh Lord, is better to me than thousands of pieces of gold and silver. Lord, your hands have made and fashioned me. Give me understanding that I may learn your commandments. Your commandments from of old, Lord. Your commandments that you gave to Moses. Where you said, I am the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of slavery. O oh Lord, we live in slavery to sin, and we live in slavery to our flesh and to our carnal natures. Lord, deliver us from this house of slavery. Deliver us from the Egypt that we live in. You said, you shall have no other gods before me. Lord, let us have no other gods before you. You said, you shall not make for yourself a carved image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth. You shall not bow down to them or serve them. For I, the Lord your God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers to the children to the fourth generation of those who hate me, but showing steadfast love to the thousandth generation of those who love me and keep my commandments. Lord, you are a jealous God. You are jealous for us. You are jealous that we might choose righteousness instead of evil. You have created us. You have made us in your image. Teach us your commands. You said, You shall not take the name of the Lord your God in vain, for the Lord will not hold him guiltless 
who takes his name in vain. Oh God, how many of us have used your name in vain when we did our own dead works, when we said that this thing that we do is done in the name of Christ and yet it was just what we wanted to do in our flesh. Father, teach us not to take your name in vain. You said, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days you shall labor and do all your work, but the seventh day is the Sabbath to the Lord your God. On it you shall not do any work, you or your son or your daughter, your male servant or your female servant, or your livestock or the sojourner who is within your gates. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, the sea and all that is in them, and rested on the seventh day. Therefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and made it holy. And you taught us how important the Sabbath day is. Because a man was found gathering sticks on the Sabbath day and you commanded Moses to stone that man. Why? Not because you're a harsh God, but because you want us to enter your rest. You want us to enter the rest of New Jerusalem. You want us to continue our pilgrimage in truth and in rest. So you are showing us a picture of how important the Sabbath day is. Oh God, teach us your commandments. You said, honor your father and your mother, that your days may be long in the land that the Lord your God has given you. Father, forgive us for speaking against our mothers and our fathers. Give us love for them. You said you shall not murder. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not lie. You shall not bear false witness against your neighbor. You shall not covet your neighbor's house. You shall not covet your neighbor's wife or his male servant or his female servant or his ox or his donkey or anything that is your neighbor's. God, how many of us fail? But you provided a way. You came. You died for our sins so that they would not be counted against us. And now you have taught us to walk in your way. Now you have taught us your commandments. Give me understanding that I may learn your commandments. That those who fear you shall see me and rejoice because I have hoped in your word, your commandments, your precepts. I know, O Lord, that your rules are righteous and that in faithfulness and truth you have afflicted me. Let your mercy comfort me according to your promise to your servant. Let your mercy come to me that I may live. For your law is my delight. Your righteous rules are my delight. Your truth is my delight. Your way is my delight. Let the insolent be put to shame because they have wronged me with falsehood. As for me, I will meditate on your precepts, upon your rules, upon your commandments, upon your ways. For I love your ways, O Lord. Let those who fear you turn to me, that they may know your testimonies also. May my heart be blameless in your statutes, O Lord. May my heart be blameless in your statutes, that I may never be put to shame.
keeping my hope in your word. I've worn myself out, waiting for you to save me. Oh Lord, where is your salvation? I've strained my eyes waiting for your promise. I want to know, when? When will you console me? I've been a sojourner and a pilgrim for years, years without end. Though smoke has dried me as a wineskin, I still do not forget your statutes. Though my body wears out, though my eyes become dim, though my ears fail to hear, still I look to your word. How much longer, how much longer has your servant even to live? Will you condemn me with my persecutors? The arrogant of dug pitfalls for me in defiance of your law. O oh Lord, let the evil ones fall into the pits that they have dug, into the pits that they have dug for me and for all of your people. Lord, it is time. It's time that you awake, that you awaken your people. It is time that we put on new wineskins. For mine is dry. Your commandments show your faithfulness, your truth, your ways, your wonderful paths. Lord, when liars hound me, you must help me. Though the evil ones have almost done me in, I have never abandoned your precepts. Lord, lovingly intervene. Give me life. Give me life, and I will observe your decrees. I remember your word, O oh Lord. You have said, that I will say in that day, I will give thanks to you, O oh Lord, for though you were angry with me, your anger turned away, that you might comfort me. Behold, God is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid. For the Lord God is my strength and my song, and he has become my salvation. With joy, I will draw from the wells of Yeshua. With joy, I will draw from the wells of salvation. And I will say in that day, give thanks to the Lord. And I will call upon his name. And I will make known his deeds among the people. And I will proclaim that his name is exalted. I will sing praises to the Lord, for he has done gloriously. And I will make this known in all the earth. I will shout and sing for joy. I will live in Zion. For great in my midst, great in the midst of Zion, is the Holy One of Israel. Israel.